Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video we will cover how protein quality influences body composition. First and foremost, let's discuss what exactly protein quality means. Each protein source is made up of a specific combination of amino acids. This can be considered its amino acid profile. So protein quality essentially refers to the amino acid profile of the protein source we consume. There are 20 different amino acids responsible for growth, human function and development, and different protein sources contain different concentrations of each. So certain protein sources will contain higher or lower amounts of each individual amino acid. Of these 20 amino acids, only 9 of which are considered essential. Non-essential amino acids can be created by the body without direct ingestion of them. However, the essential amino acids cannot be synthesized by the body alone, which means they must come from dietary sources. In relation to body composition, we refer to high quality protein sources as those which have a higher concentration of essential amino acids. In opposition, lower quality protein sources refer to those which have a lower concentration of essential amino acids. So how does protein quality influence body composition? Protein quality may have some implications for muscle growth. As we should understand from this video series, total daily protein intake is far more important than frequency, timing and quality of intake. However, the quality of our protein sources may still have a slight impact on hypertrophy outcomes. There is no clear evidence to support greater increases in direct muscle growth from higher quality protein sources compared with lower quality protein. In fact, we generally see very similar hypertrophy outcomes when comparing different protein qualities in combination with resistance training when total daily protein intake is equated, at least in the short term. However, we do have some indirect evidence to support a theoretical rationale for preferencing higher quality sources over lower quality protein. We quite clearly see a greater muscle protein synthesis response after the ingestion of higher quality protein sources compared with lower quality sources. That is, ingestion of essential amino acids provides a greater muscle protein synthesis response than non-essential amino acids. In particular, the essential amino acid leucine seems to significantly trigger muscle protein synthesis acutely. However, muscle protein synthesis is not a direct measure of body composition, it is a proposed mechanism. So overall, protein quality probably doesn't have any major impact on hypertrophy outcomes. However, based on indirect evidence, there may potentially be a benefit in consuming more high quality protein sources for long-term muscle growth. So what food sources are of higher or lower quality protein? Generally speaking, animal-based protein sources have higher concentrations of essential amino acids, while plant-based sources have a lower protein quality. There are certainly exceptions to this rule, but for the most part, animal products will have the highest protein quality. Foods like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, yogurt, cheese, and milk are all high-quality protein sources. However, for the most part, these are also the foods which have the highest total amount of protein too. This means that if we are already consuming a high-protein diet, we are probably getting a good amount of high-quality protein without even conscious consideration. Protein quality, however, is probably more of a concern for those who consume a plant-based diet alone. This is because plant-based foods generally have a lower concentration of essential amino acids. Trainees consuming a highly plant-based diet may want to look at the individual amino acid profile of various sources which fit their dietary beliefs. Trainees can still obtain high quality protein sources by strategically selecting certain foods. Furthermore, trainees can combine different plant-based food sources to achieve an overall higher quality protein meal. So what practical recommendations can we conclude from this information? Well, first of all, we don't fully understand the influence of protein quality on body composition yet. It seems that there could potentially be a small benefit to consuming more high quality protein sources, even when total daily protein intake is equated. So as a practical recommendation, trainees should probably try to consume some high quality protein with each meal throughout the day to ensure a significant muscle protein synthesis response. This may be additionally important surrounding resistance training sessions. So trainees may want to especially ensure that their pre and post workout meals contain a high concentration of essential amino acids and particularly leucine. Trainees may already be abiding by these recommendations even without intentional effort if they are already consuming a high protein diet and not exclusively eating plant-based foods. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.